main cabinet we're going to fit everything into and we're going to start off with a fuse board so that's going to be the location of the fuse board within this cabinet and then everything will go in after this we'll have the inverter here and we'll have the main isolate switch for the solar panels there i'll show you step by step of actually what i do but today we're going to mount this fuse board into the the cabinet to make life simpler what we're going to do is remove the door from the unit and that makes life much simpler and what we're going to do we're going to mark the holes where we're going to drill and then mount the fuse board making sure it's square mark the holes and to make life simpler there's a back plate in the cabinet And there we have the fuse board secured to the, to the back. Put some washers on just to make sure it's nice and tight and nice and firm. So this is what the board looks like when it's placed. So you can easily get into all the certain switches when you want. And that's the first part of the, of the box done. So this is where the cabinet's going to be on the wall a little bit higher than this so if they need to take the air conditioning unit off they can do that so again trying to put it onto the wall without making any holes onto the onto the wall so i'll use the brackets that are all holding the air conditioning unit on to be able to do this so that's roughly the height that i want it so I'll just mark it on the wall and we'll make a bracket underneath for it to sit on. Well, using what I've got, I've been able to put this on and mount it to the brackets that are holding the air, condition, air conditioning unit up. So I made a strong bracket. And that holds it up. As you can see, bubbles right in the middle. So now before I screw everything else into it, that's that. But I still need to put the inverter in and then wire the cables and the mains on off switch. But as you can see, that's my little job done for today. All nice and strong, isn't gonna go anywhere. And it's not screwed to the wall, it's just screwed to the original brackets that are already there. Here we have the, the panel now, what it's gonna look like, the board with everything in there, all the components. And the main fuse board, we're gonna have the DC, the surge protection, the AC, the surge protection and the timer which will time it so it switches the inverter on on the morning time no need to run it overnight we have the main isolator that's going to be for the dc input and as i say we've got the main inverter and if we come round, we've got a, an extra fan the idea with these cheap inverters is the fact that you keep it cool although it's got two fans itself 
I'm going to keep it cool. So the idea of the extra fan is to help keep the inverter cool because it's a cheap inverter, although it's got two fans already in there. It's easier to keep it cool by using an external fan. So that's all the components. And we've got a little socket up, up on the top there. Now that's to, to supply the, the fan at the bottom. So we can switch it on, switch it off by using this facility. So yeah, let's get everything fixed into the panel. Because we're going to fit a fan into this box <coughs> and we need to get this plate out every now and then. I put the, the fan into the box, it actually overlaps the, the back panel. So I've made a little cut out of there. So when the screw is onto the bottom of the box, we'll be able to lift the panel out if we need to get it out one time or another. So now we're going to cut out a square so this fan can draw air from the underside. As you can see by cutting that little cut out it allows the this back panel which is movable to move in and out. So the next thing we're going to fix is the fix the inverter onto the back panel as well. That's the safety cutoff for the solar panels just being fitted. And now we're going to fit the electric socket box at the top. So I've drilled a small hole in the side of the consumer unit and a small hole in the side of the box. Drill four holes, so it'll fit in there. So let's fit the box. So there we have it now. The consumer board fitted, socket fitted, main isolator for the solar panels and the inverter. All screwed onto the back plate and ready to fit in the box. I've got this fan at the bottom as an extra really it's got two fans in the inverter but with cheap inverters the if they get too hot then they'll burn out so I've just bought this as a as a backup and it it just plugs in into the socket at the top so it's like double security really just to make sure that the inverter is cool I, I've, I've been running it off and on and it doesn't really really get that hot just the midday um, as we only have one panel, it's not doing an awful lot of work, so um, better be safe than sorry. And all, all I've done is the, what I've done is the, all the cables are in conduit, so there's nothing going to touch the, the metal casing of the box. So what I've done, I've kept all the cables separate, so there's no 24 volt and two 20 volt cables running together. So th this one here, it's the, it's a 240 volt fan. So I just run the cable up there and up there and it goes, of course, to that switch. So again, and these two are all separate. So that's the cable from the solar panels. So yeah, as I said, it, it's took me most of the day to do this. Um, I'm quite pleased with the results. I think it'll work well. Everything's isolated, Every, you can see everything. There's a, a timer switch in there. So basically I'll quickly go through these, but I'll go through more detail later. These two are the surge protection for the DC for the um, solar panels. These two are the fuses coming in from the sol solar panels. This is a timer switch, so on an evening time it switches it off, so there's no power going to the inverter. So basically all night long, nothing happens. And then come seven o'clock in the morning it'll switch on that'll give power to the um, main isolator switch and fuse and then that power goes to the inverter and that tells the inverter that it's attached to the grid then then i'll turn the inverter on and these two are both um, surge protections for this so basically if a uh, lightning strikes it's it's the house and comes through it won't go through to the inverter and it'll it'll make the inverter so it's safe same with the with the surge protection for the 
uh, solar panel, although the solar panel is virtually on the floor. Chances of getting a lightning strike is very, very rare, but again, it's going to stop before it gets anywhere into the, into the system. So if you've got any questions, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Um, as I say, hopefully the next time we see this, it'll be up on the wall and working its merry little way. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, till the next time, bye for now.